Hello everybody, Michael here for Tactica Imperialis. Happy New Year everybody. Hope 2015 has been seen in in style. Right, I want to talk today about um, some rumours. It's news and rumours light, really. Uh, there's only a couple of things I want to talk about really. The first one is End Times 4. End Times 4 is confirmed, I think, as Skaven. Uh, at any rate, they have released a new Skaven Vermin Lord. Uh, there are five distinct Skaven Vermin Lords in this kit. One for each of the great clans and one for the Warlord clans. Uh, so one for Clan Mulder, one for Clan Pestilence, one for Clan Eshin, one for Clan Scryer, and one for the Warlord clans. Don't ask me which is which. But um, the I will put the link to the Games Workshop homepage or to the actual Skaven Vermin Lord page if you want to go and have a proper look. Uh, they're armed with all sorts of weird and wonderful weapons, and I have to say the kit looks absolutely brilliant, in my opinion. I love this kit. Kieran told me about it, and he was basically squealing with delight at how cool this kit was. I'm actually quite interested in it, but uh, I'm not a Skaven player. Kieran is, so maybe you will see a Vermin Lord in a future fantasy bat rep. Maybe. Uh, next thing. Uh, these are two rumours that have come almost out of nowhere uh, towards the back end of last year into the start of this year. And they are two rumoured codices. Now, uh, the first thing, is, first one is not one of these little random ones. This is Necrons, and we think Necrons will be coming out this month in January. Um, nothing really confirmed, although I think it's going to be quite kit light. Not many um, actual boxes. So maybe, but as if that happens, I will let you know in a future video. The two codices that have been rumoured slash leaked are very obscure factions that you would probably never think to make a codex for or at least one of them you would absolutely never think to make a codex for the first one is codex harlequins now the harlequins are a faction of the eldar who were actually previously in the old dark eldar codex i don't know if they've been transferred into the new one i'd be surprised because a lot of stuff got cut from the dark eldar codex but Maybe it's in the new Dark Eldar Codex as well. I'm not sure. But these guys are a travelling troupe of performers who would go around and reenact different parts of Eldar history. Uh, from the glory days to the fall to other bits of Eldar history of various fights and things. And they had various members of the troupe. The Shadow Seer, who I believe is a sort of a psyker, or at least I think. The Death Jester, who was a heavy weapons type guy. Troop Master, who was your sergeant. Um, I'm sure there was another one. Oh, it's gone out of my head, it's gone out of my head. I'm sure there was another different sort of member of that group. And it's gone out of my head completely. And they were known for their very lavish paint schemes with um, the diamond check patterns being very well used on Harlequins. Um, if you've seen Harley Quinn from the Batman series, I suppose, with like some of the like, cartoony ones with diamond patterns, it's that sort of idea, the Harlequin. Uh, actually, the reason the Mask of Slanesh exists is because of the Harlequins. But, anyway, Codex Harlequins has been leaked slash rumoured, and I had to approach this with a massive pinch of salt. Massive pinch of salt. For one simple reason. There is only one Harlequin unit. The Harlequin troop. All the units or members I've mentioned are part of one squad. who was one elite's choice in the Eldar and then the Dark Eldar Codex. So... I was a bit on the fence about this one. I, I didn't buy it. But, apparently, um, according to a source who has got a hold of a couple of kits early, the pose is apparently very grainy. Apparently, the Sky Dancer jet bikes, or whatever they're called, there are some form of Harlequin jet bikes. Now, this makes sense. Harlequins need a fast attack choice, so they're going to make a codex. Um, so, Sky Dancers, I think, was the name. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to that post on Bell of Souls. Or MBG, and I, I, I'm, I still don't think there's enough units to make a Harlequin Codex work. It would work like Codex Militarum Tempestus. I think you have two or three units maximum, and then some formations based upon that. Because so I've got Codex Militarum Tempestus, I've used it, and uh, I'm on the fence on Militarum Tempestus, and I don't think Codex Harlequins would work either. Unless it got a lot of buffs relative to taking Harlequins in, in the next Eldar Codex. Whenever that rolls around. Uh, which will probably just be that jet bike kit. The second one has a bit more logic. 
We'll go with logic to it. It's the Adeptus Mechanicus. You may remember um, way, way back when I started custom rules, which I really need to do another episode on, actually. Um, I talked about an option for Codex Mechanicus and how I would go about doing it. Well, it seems GW has either been watching my videos, listening to the fans, or l using the success of the Mechanicum Horus Heresy range, I know which is the most likely, and has actually gone and made a 40k Mechanicus Codex. Now, again, not a lot is confirmed, in fact, very little is confirmed. Uh, I will put a link in the description again to Velvos Souls or Spiky Bits who have got blog posts on this and a couple of leaked images. Now, I take these images with a pinch of salt, and it's quite a substantial one, for one reason. They're in black and white. Why is black and white a problem? Well, the last black and white codex, or the last codex with any black and white pretty much in it at all, was the last 5th edition codex, which I, if I remember correctly was Necrons. Since 6th edition, all codices have been full colour hardbacks. Since Chaos Marines, it's been full colour hardbacks all the way. And why then would GW go back a step to doing black and white codices in paperback? Well, one, to make them cheaper, which I would not complain about at all. But uh, I don't think these images are directly taken from a codex. Because they're in the wrong colour scheme. If they were in full colour, I'd buy it. Straight up. I would be a lot more accepting. But they're in black and white. And that, I'm not saying puts me off. But it makes me a little apprehensive as to whether it's actually a thing. I hope it's a thing. I love the Mechanicus. And I would happily pick it up and take them as an alliance for my guard. And I know many people who would. I know Katie and Shock, when I mentioned it to him, was um, on the same lines of wanting to do it as an alliance for his guard. So... Codex Mechanicus. Oh, again, I'll put the image in the description. Let me know in the comment section what you think um, of these rumours and whether you think they're actually substantial. Uh, if they do come out, uh, I wouldn't expect them until February at the earliest. February at the earliest. Because obviously we've got Necrons to do in January. Uh, we've got N times 4 with Skaven to do. And from there, we'll see. I I'm still apprehensive. Uh, if I hear any more, I will be sure to let you know. Um, is there anything I want to show you? Yes, there is something I want to show you. Mm, we'll go with this here. I have finished my military and Tempestus. This is just one of my Scions. And, yeah, I know, I've glued that gun on very, very badly. Oh, God, that's awful. But, yeah, that those are my military and Tempestus Scions. You will probably see them in the next um, 40k battle report we do. And I'm really quite happy with them. So yeah, that's what an hour's painting, can, or a couple of hours painting, if you actually put your foot down, can get done. So, thank you for watching this video. Uh, make sure to go and uh, comment below with your opinions on these um, rumours. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to go and uh, check out our Q&A uh, launch and see if you want to ask us anything. Um, because obviously, I'm looking to do as many questions as I can, get as much information across to you as I can do. Uh, Q&A closes at the end of January, so make sure to go over there and get involved. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, leave a like if you did. Uh, my name is Michael for Tactica Imperialis, and I will see you again.